guys, we all know software development is evolving and AI-powered agents are here to revolutionize every phase of the software development life cycle. But what if I told you that we now can have 16 AI agents that can automate, optimize, and accelerate software development from planning to maintenance? In this video, we will explore these AI agents across the six key phases of SDLC. And I will show you exactly how they work using this HTML-based flow diagram. So let's dive into that. Okay, so the first phase, as you can see on my screen, which is the planning phase. Every great software starts with the planning, but what if AI could make planning smarter and faster? First off, we have the AI-powered project management assistant backed up by the AI. It can generate the project timeline, plan for your sprint, and predicts the bottleneck before they happen. Think of it as an AI scrum master that helps you stay ahead. Now the next AI agent which we can build around automated requirement analyzer, which can scan your Jira ticket, user story, and requirements to find the gaps in between or the ambiguities and the inconsistency. What advantage we gonna get with this? No more miscommunication on the last minute changes. Everything is clear from the day one. Okay. The next phase is the design phase. Okay, so in design phase. Now let's, where AI help transform ideas into the structured solution. The first one in design phase, where we can just create our DB scheme. We can take a help from the natural language to the SQL generator. We have LLMs which can do that for us. We can convert, you know, the plain English into the optimized SQL queries for database design. So we can take out the natural language in which we just designed, uh, which, we, which we, you know, have for design document. No need for any SQL expertise. Just describe your query and AI agent will help you on that. The next one is code research and the recommendation engine. What it's going to do, it's based on what we want to build, based on our design document, which is going to be the input. It will suggest us and it will find the best library and the framework and the reusable code snippet from the open source repository. We can always have a brainstorming with that and then we can start working. So what does it mean? It means no more hour spans on Googling. Just ask, and it is going to suggest you the best tool, the best tool for whatever you want to achieve, right? So now moving on to the next phase, the third one, which is a development phase, which is the most interesting one, which we have. Now, this is where we have a time, this is where we actually bring our ideas into the life, right? So the development phase is where the real magic happens. Right. So the very first thing which we have already seen based on my, you know, last 30 days of uh, learning AI, we can easily have a code generator. Right. So we can just feed in the natural language description and AI will turn into that into the functional query. Right. So we can only focus on our innovation. Right. The next tool in this category or in this phase is the code review, which I'm currently working on. Right. So, uh, what we can do with the help of this LLMs, we can easily do the code review. We can figure it out what all kind of best practices, whether that code which we have is following or not, whether we have enough security uh, measurement on it, whether we can improve the performance improvement on it, right? All those things we can do with our AI powered code review agent. Next ones, the which we have do not almost in every sprint, once we have a product mature, right, we have to do the refactoring of the code, right? So this AI agent, I have already done that where I try to refactor and believe me, these elements are really helping us to do that refactoring. That not only optimizes our code, but clean up the messy code for the better readability and the maintainability. So what does it mean? AI ensures that our code is a state, efficient, optimized, and readable. The last one, which I can think of, but there can be more, you know, it's just uh, uh, my thinking uh, on, on the basis of that, you know, I just thought probably we can have these kind of, uh, you know, AI agent backed by the LLM's uh, generative AI model, then probably we can, you know, have an end-to-end, -end, uh, you know, AI agent, which is talking to each other and having, the, having support for the entire software development cycle. 
So API integration tools, right? What it can automatically generates code, snippet to connect a third party APIs, right? It can provide you how we can do it with AWS, Twilio, or Stripe, right? So integration of service has never been easier, right? So we can utilize these uh, LLMs and we can do that. Now moving on to the next phase, which is a testing phase. Right, but whatever we have explained and discussed so far, it doesn't mean whatever I thought is the going, going to be the final one. You can keep adding depending upon what kind of complicated application you are trying to build or the software you are trying to build. These are just based on my experience. Like if we have these AI agents, probably we can make our software development more efficient and more effective. Now the next one is having a testing, right? AI is not just about coding, right? It can revolutionize our testing as well. So that is where I'm gonna suggest to have a test case generator, which I have already done. You know, I have published few videos where I was able to create the test cases, you know, for all the missing line of codes, right? And those test cases are very, very comprehensive. You know, just providing a lot of, you know, coverage which human, which is very hard for a human being to think about it without, you know, having a collaboration with that. Right. So basically, it's not going to help us to create a comprehensive test cases based on our code, but no manual testing writing will be required. Just focus on the shipping or building the product. Bug declaring, right? This is again a very fantastic feature which I'm just currently thinking of. I haven't done anything, but based on my experience and the potential these LLMs are having, I'm hundred percent sure I can build an AI agent which can easily detect the bugs before it happens, right? So it can scan your code, defend the potential bug before they actually cause the real issue, right? So what does it mean? It means that AI can have our back and it can never, and we cannot have to, you know, wake up in the night where you, we just get a, all of a sudden a call from our project manager or leader that, okay, there is a bug in the production, we have to do it. Probably we can reduce that frequency. The next one is the security analyzer, right? Um, these LLMs are really, really awesome because when you, when I try to just do the security analysis for any small piece of code snippet, believe me, these LLMs are very smart, right? And they are just providing what kind of vulnerabilities your code is having currently, or it may happen if we just choose the same part to just do our coding, right? It can easily, uh, you know, figure out the recently happened attacks and it can also predict, you know, what kind of, uh, you know, vulnerabilities which we can have. So what does it mean? It means that no more worrying about the security flaws and AI will kiss them for us, right? The next phase moving on to the deployment phase. So we are covered with four, uh, basically we have three in testing phase, four in development, two in design phase, and two in planning. So what does it mean? We, we are having 11 tools so far, right? Then we have, we are in a deployment phase, right? In deployment phase, what, what exactly we do? Right, we try to just launch our software uh, with a confidence, right? And this AI definitely can streamline the deployment process for us. It can help us very easily to generate a release notes based on the code which we have written. I have tried that, and it is, can easily create the release notes for you. The next thing is uh, the DevOps related stuff, right? Um, currently, I haven't tried with any DevOps operation, but I try with where, you know, we can have a code, we can create the test cases, and then we can just merge the tested code uh, to the repo, create the MR, and just review that. But after that, like, I mean, you know, running the test against it, and then the CI pipeline, then maintaining a CI CD pipeline is something which I haven't tried it. But based on my experience, again, AI. With the generative AI, a large language model, this is again seems to be very, uh, very possible that we can easily achieve, you know, all the DevOps related operation with the help of a AI generative uh, uh, LLM models, right? Now moving on to the last phase, the maintenance phase, right, where we can have what all things we do in a maintenance, right? The most important thing is the documentation based assistance, right? So this AI agent can help us to keep our technical documents up to date by analyzing the code chain, because this is really a very important point because most of the doc tools which you will see that, you know, we are very good in doing a coding, but when it comes to documentation, there is always been a gap in that, right? So we can avoid this situation. So we can have an AI agent which can do the, doc, which can help us to just make our documentation in sync with the current, uh, current code uh, base, right? 
Next is the intelligent chatbot. Chatbot is something which is very useful. Now we can easily create, you know, the chatbot where we can easily train them or fine tune, you know, based on our code base and provide, you know, the suggestions like based on whatever the issue we have encountered so far and what can be the solution for us. So LLM query looks good in that. It can easily answer the coding related queries or debugging the basic errors, you know, or whatever, you know, very simple assistance, which we can think of for our software product. It can be easily done by the chatbots, right? The last one is the learning platform, right? So we know that this is again a very important feature, right? Because we live in, because the way, you know, our industry works, we always know that we have to onboard new folks because old folks want to, you know, a few, uh, you know, their careers into a different, uh, different, uh, different, uh, different, uh, different organization with a different career aspiration, right? So we always have to have a situation where we have to onboard a new developers or new person in time in, in our team. So, right, these AI agents can create a, some kind of, you know, the learning uh, platform for, uh, you know, the new developers, right? Where we can have an interactive lessons, we can have a real time feedback for them. And this can be very easily done with the generative AI large language model, and which we are currently seeing. There are a lot of learning platforms, not for the coding, but for you know educational purpose, scientific purpose, research purpose, which is happening all around the world. Right. So basically, if you just see for all these six phases, which are categorized for the entire uh, software development life cycle, if we have these 16 AI agents, which then we can easily make our software development life cycle you know, uh, more interesting, more fun to have. And, you know, we can transform the entire software development life cycle, right? From planning to maintenance, AI can ensure if we have all these AI agents, we can have a faster development, we can have a higher code quality, reduced bug, security risk can be reduced and a smoother deployment, right? So the future of software development is AI driven. And if you are excited about AI powered SDLC, hit like, subscribe, drop a comment. Which AI agent do you want to use first and you want to build? Let's build smarter and faster and the better together, right? And if you have any experience on building any kind of tool, which, you know, uh, which have a similarity of all these, I mean, just let me know in the comment section and we can work together on that to make it more exciting, more efficient and more general. Thanks for watching this. And as always, stay healthy, keep learning a new thing. And if you have any feedback, please feel free to put.